Here's Babs. sequins and, and I was really dressed up and I was great, it was really good. Ken, Ken looked fantastic, he really did. He's, he had his, um, his satin flares on and he looked really, really spunky. He really did, he was gorgeous. Anyway, then um, I said to him, Ken, you've got to do something with your hair and he came back looking like this, a bloody idiot. Look at him, he looks stupid. So anyway, yeah, I, got him to, I got him to change the haircut. Um, but I, um, I, before we went out, I had to wash the baby. So I had washed the baby. Yes. I had to wash his hair because it was disgusting. I, didn't, I, you know, I haven't even looked at the baby since I had it last week. It was just boring, you know. It, it doesn't do anything. So I just had to wash its hair. You know, I did that. And then Ken went and came back with a better haircut and he put a mow on. He just hasn't done his shaving. Anyway, we had a great time. We went out and we had, uh, Ken got a tattoo, like there, he looks really good, he's really sexy now with his tattoo and his, yeah, anyway, and I got one too, I got one too, one, not the Indonesia one, the one that says Ken, that's mine. Anyway, we left Blaine at home because he was just shitting us lately. We just, you know, can, what about me? Can I come along? What about me? Can I come? No, shut up. Stay at home and make yourself a smoothie and shut up. So he did. It was really dumb. Anyway, while we were out, we met Brian. Brian was really cool. He was fantastic. He, he took us around. We had some really good fun with him. <laughs> God, he's a party animal. I tell you what, Brian, he was good. And I had a couple of smokes, you know, I let my hair down. As you can see, I let my hair off, really. Um, Brian gave us, you know, we had a really good time. I had a bit of silliness going on, it was just crazy. I was, I was um, getting some sherbet into my mouth, some sherbet, yeah. And anyway, it really made my eyes go crazy. I was whacked, I tell you what. Anyway, I met another friend of Brian's. Brian, Brian brought a whole bunch of friends along and this guy came out. He was a bit weird. Anyway, his name was Andy. Randy Andy, we called him. God, he didn't let go all night. Anyway, once we, we met Andy, we, things got weird. Got really crazy. It just got nuts. God, we had a hard time. It was just hilarious. Anyway, and um, Andy took me downstairs to his, to his little dungeon. And uh, we, we, we had some fun down there for a while. That was nuts. That was pretty crazy. But I tell you what, we ended up with all these, you know, this is what it ended up like in the halfway through the night. Anyway, uh, still with Andy and, and Brian, you know, it just got crazy. We just got nuts. God, we, we got nuts. Anyway, I got a bit sick. I had a bit of a spew. It was, it was pretty rough by the end of the night. And, um, you know, I kept spewing. I just kept spewing. Just over and over and over again. It was really messy. And, and look, there's another one of me spewing. <laughs> God, I had a hard time. It was a rocking time, I tell you what. Anyway, the things got weird with the boys. They just got crazy and did stupid things. I don't know what they were doing. Anyway, um, I woke up feeling terrible. Oh, God. I've never felt worse in my life. It was just partying, and I, I just, things were crazy. Anyway, the kitchen looked terrible by the end of the night. It was just, like, I woke up, and that's what it looked like. You know, somebody was in the fridge with their head off. It's bizarre. Anyway, 
Anyway, I'll tell you what, I reckon it aged me a bit. It just aged me. I don't know. I don't know. I just got old really quickly, so I'm not doing that again. I'm not going out for parties anymore, especially with Brian. Crikey's. Bloody Brian. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for questions. Let's have questions with Babs. Yay! Okay, here's some questions. Uh, uh, uh. Jenny Jen Jen says, hey Babs, is it possible to fall in love with more than three people at the same time? Yes, Jenny. Yes. You can have Johnny Depp, Blaine and Ken. If I can do it, you can do it. All right? So three people at the same time. Just be careful when you, you, that you don't get a baby because we got a baby and it was a hassle. I had to wash it. Ugh! I just had to wash them. It stinks. They stink, babies. They do. They're horrible. I hate them. I, I just have to wash them. Just wash their heads. Oh, get them out. Yeah. Anyway, don't be careful. Don't just be careful you don't get a bug. Uh, now, music fanatic Samantha says, Hey, Babs, can I have Novak's tennis balls so I can throw them at my neighbour's air conditioning where it runs all night on full blast? Bloody idiots! Oh, crikeys. Well, yes, you can have not, you can have Novax balls, I'm sure. Because they've shrunk because he hasn't had any jabs. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, uh, uh, there's another question from Jenny Jen Jens. Hey, Babs, does Trev put his teeth in a Peter Northcote coffee mug at night before he goes to bed? <laughs> That's a bit funny. Yeah, he does because because he, he knows he's got a Lou Vella mug and it's really, really stupid. He looks like a bloody idiot. But um, yeah, Ken, Ken, I like Ken without the teeth. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Jenny Jen Jet? <laughs> anyway. All right, Jen, there's another question oh, from Handsome Dave. Hey, Babs, do you have a crush on Peter Northgate? No, no, he's human. I only like dolls. Bloody idiot. Jenny, Jen, Jen has another question. Hey, Babs, have you ever had a chocolate Big Mac in the back of a Sandman panel wagon? Yes, and it's, it is a symbol on it that says, if it's a rockin', don't bother knockin'. And we used to call them the shaggin' wagons. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, anyway, that's all the questions for the night. Thank you, everybody. I hope you've had fun. I hope you're enjoying yourselves here. We'll be back with more stuff for next week. Uh, that was a big week for me. And I think Metallicana wanted to know how to party. Well, come out and I'll introduce you to Brian and Andy. Crikey's, they're party animals. I'm telling you. All right. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have fun. Yeah, and give my love to Peter when you see him. And uh, we'll see you next week. And don't be bloody idiots, all right? See ya. Bye. Bye. What a what a party animal she is. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs>